All right, are you guys ready for this? You, you guys can talk now, it's fine. No. Am I ready? No. Will I? Yeah. Okay. Well, here we go. We're going to do this. <laughs> God. This intro is the greatest thing ever. I'm just so excited to play this. You guys have no idea. <laughs> All right. You need to get the uh, world record on it. Speedrun world record. I honestly want this background as a. I want this as a moving background in. Uh, Was it like wallpaper generator or whatever the hell it is? That's what I want. You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. Oh, I'm a student. Oh boy. A student of the chicken. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in the moment forever. God, I definitely never want to get out of bed. Oh my god, is that his alarm clock? <laughs> Do I smack that clock, or throw the clock out the window and stay in bed forever? <laughs> you slept through the school year, and gave up on the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to meet Colonel Sanders. You made the right choice, don't worry, Gatsu. Game over already? You no, 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 just give up. Just give up right now, it's gonna be some Easter egg. Oh god, I think it's just gonna start over. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, so that's exactly what it does. Okay. I like the freeze frame, that's cool. All right, so let's uh, let's let's try this again, yeah. What what is this school like? What are we doing here? Culinary school. Yeah, it's a culinary. All right, we're gonna smack that clock. All right. Oh god, that could have been so worded if I could have been so wrong had I worded wrong. Oh god. Smack that clock. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, you think about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. Wow, that is an interesting, uh, an interesting title for a school, eh? The University of Cooking School, the Academy for Learning. I've seen worse. Can I've we add some more worse. synonyms for school there? My mind begins to wander. Oh no. Who, who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by and you find your imagination getting away from you. Oh man. I'll need to take this seriously or I allow myself to daydream a bit and think about the future. Uh, I mean, chicken's serious business here, so. I'd better make sure to arrive prepared for the first day. It's freaking cooking! Says the chef. Yes! <laughs> Culinary school is pretty brutal. You bust through your morning checklist. Teeth brushed, hair combed, pits deodorized. Nothing can stop you now! I can think of one thing. Chicken! Probably. I'd stop for a biscuit. A yes! You confidently grab a biscuit! 
So we, we strut out the door and head off to class. Oh boy, here we go, boys. Strut. Strut. Oh my oh, god, okay. yes! Warm, tasty, steamy biscuit. Look at the animation on the steam! That's like the most glorious biscuit I've ever seen. Wow, I'm impressed. How much KFC do you think they bought just to, like, stare at and then draw? Oh, they probably didn't have to buy any. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. Oh my god. Oh man, my lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. Oh, she's adorable. Most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her sorry, for it. Sorry, you love this cooking girl with you, but you daydream of cooking random meals. Hey, it's culinary school. Isn't that how it works? You go to culinary school purely to, you know, daydream about food? Nope. <sighs> Jeez. Are you ready for the first day of the rest of our lives? Shit, are we getting married? What the hell is she talking about? Right? Seems a little serious. Uh, actually, I'm... Oh god, she moved! She can move. This is unacceptable. I know, right? Because I sure am. She's excited and a little nervous. Okay, okay, a lot nervous! Too much what? leg spread right the... there. Uh... It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but, well, then I ate it, and I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? If you talk to most chefs, when they make food for themselves, there is no love in that food. It is very true. Classic Miriam. It's very true. Raised by her master chef like, parents. Literally. You just cut open the bottle of milk, pour the cereal into the gallon, and just eat it from that. Just don't care. You pour the milk into the gallon? No, you cut open the gallon of milk, pour the cereal into the gallon. Uh... What are you, fucking Canadian? Probably. I assume there's a bag. Look, no, but whenever... she's crying. The tears. Yep. Yeah, whenever I make food for someone else, it's like I have to put 100% effort, you know, 110% effort, actually. But if I make food for myself, I'm like, eh, I won't die, so it's fine. Right? Oh, look at that. I'm, I'm telling her she's going to do great. <laughs> oh, wait, did I scare her? Why, why does she look shocked Three by that? Three day only semesters? What? Three day only semesters. Afraid of being left behind. In, I mean... I'm pretty sure if you trip and break, you know, like, your foot or something. I don't know how that would work. It's happened to me. Never mind. Um, man, your whole semester's ruined. You gotta wait a couple of days to start over. Oh, man. She's always held a flair for the dramatic. This summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss, she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. How hard do you have to shove your face into something to chip a tooth? I feel bad for the mannequin. <laughs> Did you pep talk her or change the subject to give her some relief? Change that. Ugh, yeah, yeah. It's awkward enough. It's hard to see her like this and frankly quite exhausting. Yeah, yeah it is. Rather than dwell on her anxiety, you try to change the subject to something more interesting. You know, like Colonel Sanders been hearing rumors about a dreamy, enigmatic mystery student who's enrolled at this school. Is it Colonel Sanders? An enigmatic, dreamy student that we can't tell who he's going to be. Oh wow, I get to say, yeah, it's a little worrisome, but you'll be fine. Now what about this mystery student we read about on the school message board? Any new deets? Uh -huh. Oh, 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 she changed herself again. His name is Harland, and he's no ordinary student. They say he has powers. He's had them ever since he was oh. born. From an egg? She is very... Shocked? Yeah, she's, she's, uh... Oh god, she's crying again! Stop! Don't make her cry. Man, I would line up with some other rumors I've heard. Apparently I've heard other rumors. Like, once he fought a bear with just his smile? Is this fucking Chuck I... Norris? What? Are we going back to 2004? You both sigh thinking about a student so handsome that the laws of physics don't dare apply to him. Dreaming. 
How much did you pay for this? It's free! Oh. That's why I'm playing it. Before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. What the... Hey! It's Ashley, your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get a, she can get anything she wants, and she knows it. I love the heart boob window she's got going on there. Right. Yeah, and then and then you know the the tooth that kind of looks like an axe blade. That's totally a fang, man. She totally oh, no. chipped that tooth when she tried to kiss a mannequin as well. Come on. Probably did. <laughs> Probably. It must be a real big problem at this school. It's a regional thing. Oh my god, look! Look Look at her tights! She's got drumsticks on her tights. <laughs> oh my god, what? I'd just like to point something out real quick. Are, are either of you familiar with uh, the guitarist Buckethead? Yeah. Yeah, he's got an actual chicken fetish, so I wonder what this game would do to him. Oh god, no. That just crossed my mind. Hello, Ashley. Like, oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shins. Oh. Is it supposed to be like chicken legs? Drumsticks, yeah. No, but like you call people chicken legs saying they're really skinny, like as an actual insult. So saying True. chicken shins is kind of like that? I guess. I mean, if, if you say someone's got chicken thighs to me, that's like calling someone thick. <laughs> you leave Gatsu's shins alone. They're perfectly normal shins. No, they're not. No, they're not. They're overweight from all the KFC I eat. You have to be loyal to the cause. I mean, I also don't buy KFC ever, so... Ugh, you can't stand oh Ashley. Even her name's annoying. You know for a fact that it's actually Ashley, but she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God, I... why is there an E at the beginning? I just noticed that. Yeah, so in, in, in the, like, class that I uh, first grew up in... Um... There was four Ashleys, and only one of them was spelled normally. The rest were, like, completely fucked like that. Weird. What? If anyone here knows what perfect shins look like, it's us. What? What? We're not gonna let you or your really weird insults get to us. <laughs> yeah, please, don't let those weird insults get to us. Oh, oh, here comes Ashley's best friend, Van awesome. Van the Man Man! He stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight you can see that him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. Oh, no. <clears throat> Van Van? Is this, a, is, is this a JoJo uh, reference? That's what I was just gonna say. That looks a lot like JoJo. Look at his hair! It's a fucking star! That has to be, like, a JoJo reference. There. If this is- yeah, if this isn't a JoJo reference, I don't know what is. <laughs> you rang rang. Oh my god! <laughs> this is totally a JoJo reference. There's no way it's not. <laughs> Yeah, one, one of my friends that's obsessed with uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure uh, made me watch it, and just watching the first episode, that, that, yeah, that has to be. You've never been sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have been just as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. I mean, How much yeah. How like, making his hair like that? I can only imagine that's just an absurd amount of hair gel. And by wow, hair gel, I mean quiet. hair glue. It's, it's it's clay. It's just clay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, he's got he's got one of those uh, bald caps on, and it's just clay. <laughs> oh god. He, he's he's looking to be a uh, pottery major, actually. Oh god. Oh, so he can make <laughs> custom pots, so so that Ashley can make uh, really good spicy chicken. Yes. With the boo window. Yes. I can't believe that University of Cooking School Academy for Learning... I can't get through that without laughing. That's just so absurd. Would ever allow people like you to attend as students? Wow, I'm sassy, apparently. I mean, well, it are. does seem like you're kind of a raging bisexual. Apparently. Yeah. I think my character is supposed to be a girl. I think. Even still, it it's very... Hmm. True, true. I know, right? You'd think they'd just hand us our diplomas now. 
or maybe hire us all as professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. Yeah. Yeah, man, like, how to make your hair look like that in less than, like, 12 days straight. Honestly, that's kind of impressive if you can teach you how to make your hair like that. Also, this dude is beyond ripped, man. Like, you can see his, like, six-pack through that, like, whatever the hell chef shirt that's supposed to be. It looks like a plate, almost. Yep. Huh. I guess it kind of does, Okay, so what's with the buttons on the shirt with nothing under it? Valid question. Valid question. I think it's supposed to be like mimicking a chef jacket. No, I you think. Yeah. Yeah, I mean Got they're all we're all, the we're all wearing them, so. Let's see here. Love love it how that your friend is the only one that actually has it straight down instead of having it being elongated by boobs or just. I know. Cut like. Out. Ashley's all like, look, these go around my boobs so much that it stretches out this entire shirt. Also, super short skirt because anime. But the like first day of school is as short at all. I, I would just like to mention that if you were in the kitchen with a, sh a skirt at all, you would get kicked out very quickly. Or it's your kitchen and you can tell people to leave. That's an idea. No, no it's against OSHA. Oh, who cares? If it's your kitchen, you can do whatever you want for yourself. Well, you'll get shut down. The thing is, though, is all you have to do is change out of it for the one day that Osh is there, and then you just switch back. Yeah, so that is true. Yeah. Okay. But the first day of school about to start, there's just not time to properly tell these two off, so you resist the urge. I wish it's I had an option. It's school. You can tell them off. I don't know, man. This is a really accelerated course. I don't know if we can. Let's go, Mariam. See you later, losers. It's a three-day course. What other chances there are that you actually get stuck with these people? I, I love the fact that Miriam all of a sudden has a spine. <laughs> See you later, losers! She insults them. Like, what? <laughs> what the fuck is that? What the f- As you approach the door, you see a goofy-looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. He's got a sick juice box! Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 he farted! <laughs> I feel very uncomfortable. Holy shit. Oopsie. Hopefully. Oh god, Hopefully please! I, I swear to god, if this dude shit himself, I'm just gonna fall out of my chair. I think it's broken. What's broken? What did you break? Oh, okay, he can't get the door open. You reach forward and easily pull the door. Oh my god, he was pushing the pull. Okay. <laughs> that was not very well cleaned. I had no idea what was going on there. Ugh, that should do the trick. I love you. Oh, God, no, you stay away from me, you creepy little bastard. I think you mean thank you? My name is Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. Oh, my. <laughs> You know, Gatsu, if he loves you, you better hope he's a 500-year-old dragon. Yeah, really. Because this here is some serious jailbait. Chris Hansen shit right here. Could someone like me also be a student at this school? Oh, sorry. Could someone like this be a student at this school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. What? Hi, Pop. I'm Katsu, so... Are you going to make me hold this door all day? Nope! <laughs> With that, the young man walks into the building out of you. Mariam, what is wrong with you? He's not cute! Oh, God, no! Need to wor work on that with her, yeah. Mariam needs some standards. I mean, mannequins, Pop... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she thinks he's, you know, soft enough that she won't chip a tooth this time. <laughs> I think it's just you. <laughs> God, this character's sassy. I love it. You both shrugged your shoulders before following him into the building. You stand at the, uh, at the edge hold on, of the Hold room. on, hold who, on. Who is that a picture I of? I have no idea who that is. Almost Agent Coulson? No. I don't... This is so weird. Also... What is, what are the, why is there math equations on the board? <laughs> is, this it, is, is, 
Is this like a fucking like stock photo that they just because like sketched you in? Because have to cook food at 120 degrees, and so they have to put it at a 120 degree angle. Ah, uh -huh. see, this is why the chef's here. It Thank would you. be a minimum of 145, actually. You stand at the edge of the room, so, unsure where to angle. sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy chit-chatting. <gasps> Dog! Wait, is this dude the teacher? I'm gonna be brutally honest with you, I would not want to be taught how to cook by a dog. Are you kidding me? Look at that him! It's also unsanitary. Exactly. What are you talking about? Look at the glasses! He's obviously refined! He's wearing a hat! You can, you can be refined and unsanitary. I guess that's true. A scruffy looking pooch takes his place at the podium at the front of the class. Adorable! Uh, he's literally it's on a, a podium. It's a corgi, of uh, course. Of course it is! Oh my god, his name is Sprinkles! Oh, goodness. Now, now, quiet down, everyone! Who is this unreasonably cute pup, and why is he in our culinary class? Oh. I like how you're, you're playing a character that is the only character who's like, the hell is this going on here? You must be Sprinkles. Head instructor and CEO? <laughs> what? What? Wow. The dog owns the school? What? <laughs> Has to be inheritance from some crazy old lady. I don't know. Oh my god, he can stand. Look how adorable he is. Please, call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and little and, little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. Woof. Woof. What? A cute dog is our professor? This is the best girl ever! I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. Their sense of smell oh. is quite good. I don't know if a corgi is the right one to get, though. Well, I don't think dogs are as picky as humans, so... Oh my god, out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you as a swirl. Cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. Okay, look at this. The words are, you know, the top layer of everything, and then the blossoms go behind it. This is awesome. And, and on top. <laughs> this is... This is absolutely beautiful. Why is Miriam doing that? I just find the pose that she's been in for half the game so far very uncomfortable. There's no way that's comfortable. I mean, hey, you know what? Maybe she's just trying to stretch out a, uh, you know, Charlie horse or something. I'm chilly. Someone close the window. Yeah, Charlie Horse from thinking about Colonel Sanders. Probably. And then... He walks in. <laughs> the guy that looks old enough to not need to be there. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say he's our actual instructor. Maybe. I'll, I'm gonna need five minutes. I'll be back. Oh, no. <laughs> You're kidding. You're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. I mean, that is a pretty sweet goatee. Who knew I'm anyone could goatee. be so handsome? Time stands still. I'm not gonna lie, he is very dreamy. Look at him go. There's an wow. adorable dog. It confirms sick here, goatee. Yatsu is bisexual. Oh, this is by awareness day. And then you've got Miriam over what? here, who's really? just horribly scared of everything. Yes. It's him! It's... If it isn't my favorite student, Harland. Oh, he's the one with the magical powers! Oh, it must be those, like, what, secret herbs and spices? Yeah. Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog, before he can finish his sentence. Please, call me Colonel. Oh my god, he wants to be called Colonel. Colonel Sanders. A hush murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Obviously, off of his amazing aura. Yeah, of course, right? That's how it works. Totally. Sweat begins to beat across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. Oh, God, what have I done? <sighs> and this over here must be Sweaty Sweatsalon. I have a condition! 
rude. Well, didn't you put on deodorant? Are you good? You know, it said deodorant. It didn't say antiperspirant. Mm. Huge difference. Yep. Yep. So, yep. Ashley, why are you not flustered being in front of this awesomely attractive man? Uh, because obviously she's only interested in the dog. Ooh. No, 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 no. She, she can't. She can't show to uh, Mr. Jojo here that she actually wants Colonel Sanders. Otherwise, he'll dump her and stop doing her hair. Uh, maybe that's what it is. He does appear to know what he's doing and, you know... See? Uh, makes sense. Detective work. Detective work. Maybe we should open that window back up before faucet pits melt into a puddle and evaporate entirely. <laughs> faucet pits. God damn. That is, that is rough. You two both know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class. And what is with all your really weird insults? It's like Miriam stepped on some chicken. It's true. You take a moment to clean yourself up. It's a good thing you didn't uh, forget about that deodorant this morning. This classroom is hot, hot, hot! Who is this dude, though? Someone in the comments, please let me know who the hell this is if I don't find out as we're doing this. <laughs> oh, the guy in the background. I, I don't know who that is! That's just so weird. It's so generic, though. It, it's like, is that a stock photo? Is that is that the no. dude that... If this is the guy that made this, please put your name in a little plaque underneath it with an update, please. Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and set some ground rules. Oh, boy. Welcome to University of Cooking School Academy for Learning, the greatest culinary academy in the world! The birthplace of culinary legends, past, present, and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears. There will be blood. There might even be really adorable tiny food. Oh, that's great. I like tiny food. Tiny food is a bitch to make. And when all is said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift your sporks and compete in the broom cooking arena. Why would you use a spork, of all things, honestly? Wow, look at his face! He's angry now! I would rather have, you know, like a paring knife with a chef knife. Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. Hi guys, sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss... Oh my god, his name's just Student. Yep. Quiet! Looks like a zombie. Late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue? You're on the fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? The dog just looks so dejected right now. I mean, he interrupted his, his monologue. It was a pretty epic monologue about blood, sweat, and tears, and cooking. I mean, when, when you are cooking, there is blood, whether you want there to be or not. Whether it's your blood or whatever you're cooking's blood, that, that depends on your skill, but... Could be both, if you're bad with a knife. Yeah. Don't you recognize I, I... me? This is my third year in this school with you as my teacher. I thought this was a three-day semester. Three-day semester, which means he's been here a long time. That's why he looks like a zombie. Yeah. Also, why is his nose that color? Everyone stares at him blankly. <laughs> That's why it's like, are you sure you're even in the right place? You've been here three years and haven't graduated yet. Does no one remember me? I'm... You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. It looks like he's about to shit at him. Yeah. <laughs> Do we just never get to learn this dude's name? Because I'm okay with that. <laughs> oh, just look call him John. Look, look, he's got a tie! Let that be a lesson to you students that tardiness is unacceptable. Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. Oh no, what are we about to see? The, the, uh, the, um, token. What, uh? So, Korn, welcome to my stream. Uh, feel free to click on that live button and join us. Uh, I am both recording and streaming uh, the I Love You, Colonel Sanders dating sim. You want to watch. This is pure comedy gold, man. You want to watch. 
You turn to see the student Sprinkles is re referencing, who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. Oh no. Oh my god! <laughs> wow, look at that! Oh man! <laughs> Damn, that's um... That's an appliance, alright. That's something. <laughs> look at his face now! Oh, he's a deep fryer! The class bursts into laughter. Oh, Clank, you rascal! Sprinkles walks in the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. Oh, I'm really glad I put on deodorant this morning, then. Hmm, your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up, you definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. I feel it. I feel attacked. He's also not wrong. Not wrong at all. You've never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkle's reputation for being smart but tough is well known. You decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket, but what kind? Hmm. I just it's go obvious. Beef. No, it, beef it, it's treat. obvious. Rubber ball. Chicken. Chicken. Snack. Chicken. This is this is the Colonel Sanders game. Chicken. Hands down. Done. Game over. You win. But that just seems too easy. Well, the joke answer is the rubber ball. The, the obvious answer is chicken snack. Is it though? I think I'm gonna give him the beef treat. Cause there's no beef at KFC, right? It's all chicken. Is yeah. It Country fried steak, sort of like a breakfast thing. You reach beneath your apron and return with a small bit of beef jerky in your hand. Sprinkle's eyes go wide as he locks onto it. All I want to know is, what do I actually have underneath my apron? Like, do I have, like, pockets yeah, like and beef shit? jerky? Beef? Are you trying to give me a heart attack? I would never eat that! <laughs> Look at his face, oh man! He's he a dog. To me. Oh my god, you clearly do not belong here. Please wow. remove your apron and then remove yourself from this class in this school. Wow. <laughs> I told you. Oh, man. All right, let's try again. Let's try again. Wow. <laughs> this load screen is the best load screen I've ever seen. Seriously, I fucking love this thing. Someone make this in wallpaper engine, please. Oh god, I gotta click through all this now. Okay. Ah, yes. Dreamy oh, Colonel sweet. Sanders. There he is. Isn't he beautiful, Corned? Isn't he great? Faucet pits. Faucet pits. <gasps> My god, this is just beautiful. Oh, oh and there's, there's Ashley in our JoJo reference oh. again. He's Van Van and he says, sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's Van Van the Man Man. He's the Man Man with the Plan Plan. His favorite dance is the Can Can. <laughs> ah, yes. Mr. No Name. God, Clank is just great. I really like this character. <laughs> the face is gorgeous. Nice box. Bunch of handles. Dials. Alright, we'll... We'll give him the rubber... Do you want me to give him the rubber? No, we're just gonna do the chicken snack. Obviously, chicken that's why snack. I need to be here. Yeah. The chicken snack in your hand. His eyes go wide. His favorite... Well, 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 I think there might be some competition for new star student. The furry professor immediately devours the snack, leaving your hand slick with a coating of warm doggy drool. Nice. I don't know if I should feel aroused or not, but I feel aroused. Uh, furry. Do you have peanut butter? Oh, there you go. You see the other students eyeing you jealously, but pay no mind to them. If they wanted you to succeed in life, 
I'm oh, sorry, if they wanted to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on them at all times. I mean, that's that's kind of life advice right there, isn't it? Or to eat a diet poor enough that the, your dog instructor sniffs you out before anybody else. True facts, true facts. Settle down, young chefs, take your seats, and prepare to have your minds open to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. I get the feeling there's going to be a lot of potatoes and a lot of chicken. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seat, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. I can't see there's still a seat here. It seems that no one has claimed the seat next to me if you're interested. Oof. Oh, man. Uh, Sanders. Gotta go with Sanders. Gotta go with Sanders, man. Well, obviously, like, because I'm pretty sure if I sit by Miriam, the game ends again. <laughs> so... You move to take your seat by Colonel Sanders. It appears he brought no books, pens, or pencils. However, his perfect upright posture shows off a seriousness that makes you confident in his desire to learn. Thanks for offering me this seat. I've only had two rules. Do all you can and do it the best you can. It's the only way you ever get that feeling of accomplishing something. God, look at how well drawn he is. <laughs> this is hilarious. I find it weird that his arm is that big compared to his, his gut. I mean, yeah, his, his hand is like his entire, entire length. torso? Yeah, mine's nowhere close to that. Then again, I'm also fat, so I mean... Neither is mine. <laughs> he looks like he's trying to sell something in an infomercial right now. So, he's yeah. got he's got big arms. Like I mean, It looks like his head should be bigger. Yes. Huh. Also, the waist and legs in comparison to that torso. Oh, his anime. His stomach is just wicked tiny. And I say that's so inspiring. A little off topic, if you ask me, but okay. As soon as you've settled into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Think fast, time for a pop quiz! Yay, a quiz day, about me! Oh one. no. Oh no. Pop, shut up. I love it. This incredibly important and surprisingly short quiz will tell me if you're ready for life at culinary school. The answer is chicken. Keep your knives sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question number one! If train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Wow. <laughs> Extremely. Looking at you, Pop. <laughs> Meh. Depends. Does it matter at all or extremely? Yeah, no, it, it's always important, guys. I, I, Cross-contamination I is bad. I can tell you the official answer, the one on a test. Yes. yes. Extremely. Looking at you, Pop. Oh, you want the truth? Uh, you can't handle that, can you? No. Never. You just never wash your hands. That way everything shows, and you can just, you know, kind of like cut that off before you serve it, yeah. Oh, look, I was right. Forest is yeah. to tree as chicken is to... Gonna go with feather on that. Feather? Night uh, you know, vision I'm, goggles. I'm, I'm, I'm really tempted to click night vision goggles, but yeah, it's gotta be feather. I mean, come on, what else could it be? Oh my god, that's right, too. What is the most efficient uten eating utensil ever created? Spork. A comically yeah. oversized yep, fork. fork. Yep, comically oversized fork. Yeah, but no, it's he, he likes sporks for some reason. And he's right. Yeah. It technically is... I don't think you're supposed to eat with a meat tenderizer, right? No. You can't. Hey. It's a mallet. That's quitter talk right there. Okay, have fun eating with a mallet. Oh, look. Spork was right. What food is best for a broken heart? Anything, as long as it's prepared with <laughs> love and not too much salt. Camel meat. A <laughs> pancake that looks, it looks like a silly face. Uh, it's hard to have too much salt in food, just saying. Yeah, it's it's really... If, if you yeah, think, if you need to add something to your food, but you don't know what, just always go with salt. I'm gonna go with the pancake. Wrong! Is Sprinkles a good boy? <laughs> no, yes, he's he a talking best dog. Boy. Yeah, <laughs> obviously best boy. That's right! <laughs> Your total score is 4 out of 5. 
Only one wrong. Not too shabby. You might just do all right, kid. Which one was wrong? Uh, the one. the one about what food's best to take care of a broken heart. Right. Uh, I, I won't lie. I may or may not have spaced out for a little bit. You're you... the one that said that, that was the whole thing with the salt argument. Yeah. You look up and see that Colonel Sanders has been watching your t you tally your score. He nods with approval. May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch! That is a very important announcement. And with that, I'm going to end today's video. Catch you guys next time. Say bye, guys. Okay, fine. Don't say bye.